So my last night there, I get invited out to go bow fishing. And uh, I was just like, yeah, I, I'll, I'll fucking do that. Shoot fish with the bow and arrow. I, I don't know how to do that, but I would like to know how to do it. Why not, right? So we fucking go out there. It's like a group of uh, four. And we meet these guys at a gas station. You got to get a fishing license and all this shit. And, uh, you know, I got a six-pack of Budweiser. I mean, you're getting on a boat. I mean, you have to. Where I'm from, you have to do that. If you're getting on a boat, you have to have a six-pack of something. And you got to drink it or else you're an asshole. So I got it, and one of the guys is like, dude, you're going to have a weapon. And he's like, yeah, well, I'm not going to be pointing it at you or me. Point it at the fish. Let's, let's try to make this a little sporting here. You know? It's not like I'm, I'm taking a stick like Tom Hanks in that fucking movie where he talked to the soccer ball. Cast away. Well said. Right? Dude, we went out on this fan boat. Yeah, 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 yeah. All the way out in the fucking bayou. It was terrifying. It was fucking... The second we got out there was because we did it at night. It was a full moon. It was the shit. You know, I kept thinking of, you know, that movie Southern Comfort with Powers Booth. That's what I thought about. And I felt good that I was thinking about that and not Deliverance because I feel like that's hacky at this point. You know? One fat, pasty dude gets banged in the ass in the woods and nobody can remember Southern Comfort after that. It's fucking ridiculous. I think it's high time that stops. All right? So anyways... um. It was it was it was amazing. Basically, when you bow fish, I don't know. I don't even know what even begin this shit. The guy had like a flashlight, one of these born in the bayou guys, and he go right there, right there, right there, right there. He <laughs> set the bow and arrows, trying to shoot some fish that was just fucking chilling out. And uh, basically, what you do is is you shoot wherever you. Th- Wherever the fish looks like it is, you shoot like five inches below it because it's an illusion, man, because of the water. So it took a little bit of time to get to get used to that. So what I did was I started aiming at all these small fish, just bringing the bow up because I realized I was just shooting. I wasn't aiming. I was just kind of shooting in the general direction. I kept missing. So I was practicing on the little fish. I didn't shoot at them. I would just bring it up just to get the muscle memory. And uh, I did all right. I hit, I hit three in about um, three hours. I averaged like one an hour. It was a lot of looking for him. I'm not going to lie to you. So I wasn't that bad, but I missed a lot. Um, but I got three, including one. We fucking pulled this thing in, and it was uh, had an alligator face, and the back looked like an eel. It's called an alligator gar. The thing looked beyond evil. It looked like a fucking dinosaur. And we got in the boat, and they're like, all right, watch out, watch your feet. Don't let it bite you. Don't let it bite you and all that shit. And everybody's like, dude, you got to get a picture with that. You got blood on your face. It looks fucking awesome. Everybody's saying all this shit, you know? And I got to tell you, you tap into that inner fucking caveman. Because when I went out there, I immediately had this sinking feeling like I can't go back to fucking the village without bringing home something to eat that's still in me. And the village was my fucking hotel room where I have room service. It was fucking stupid. But I, I literally felt that. I don't want to be the guy that doesn't fucking get something. So anyways, so now I'm feeling like a fucking man because I killed this goddamn thing. And uh, I don't know. So I'm like, all right, so what do we do here? You know, we killed a bunch of fish. And I asked the guy, I go, Can you, you guys are going to, you know, clean these things. You put the fucking meat on ice or some shit and ship it to me. And the guy's just like, yeah, no. No. <laughs> so then I was like, well, what the fuck? We're just out here killing shit? And it just kind of bugged me. Oh, no. What's going on here? How come I'm not getting any readings here? I think it's recording. What the fuck is going on with my mixer? Oh, is it just saying it's really loud? What is this? What is this? Come on. Come on. Talk to me. Talk to me. What's wrong with my mixer? Ah, Jesus Christ. Now I got to sh- I gotta shut this off. I'm going to have to splice this together. You're not going to notice, but I got to make sure I'm recording here. Hang on. All right, so it was recording. I don't know what the fuck's going on with the mixer. What did I do? What did I do to it? Oh, who gives a shit? So anyways, I, uh, so at that point, I was like, all right, well, I killed three of these things. The other two that I shot, they were fucking beautiful, really thick. 
And I was like, you know, if I'm going to kill these things, I want to fucking eat it. I just want to be putting holes in shit. But uh, anyways, I guess that alligator guard thing can survive out of the water for a couple hours. So we were able to put that one back or they, they said they were going to. So I, I don't know. That's the only part I didn't like. Other than that, it was fucking great. And uh, yeah, I felt like I was in like a Mad Max movie. Thoroughly enjoy it. Just next time I do it, I only want to kill like one. You know, or kill like two or three and then fucking clean them. Take it and fucking eat it for the week. Does that make sense? I think I made me feel bad as I went home and I looked up the alligator gar and I was look, waiting for it to be, oh, the most vicious fucking alligator eel this side of the fucking Mississippi, yada, yada. And they didn't. They were just like, yeah, it's kind of, it's very docile. If it sees you, it's shy and swims away. <laughs> and I was like, oh, man. I shot a fucking nerd, an ugly nerd fish with an arrow. And I judged it because of its face like it was evil. You know, I don't know. The people I went with, they also hunt uh, wild pigs. That's that's something else I could shoot. I could shoot a fucking pig. Deer, I couldn't do that. Who's kidding who? If I was starving, I could do it. You know? I'd shoot a fucking cat if I was hungry. Hungry enough. If there's anything I learned from reading that fucking book, Fly Boys, and no, that's not about a boy band. You know, what's up, Brooklyn? We are fly boys. Um, <clears throat> sorry, I saw the VMAs were on tonight.